Steve Cummings. I'm director of the San Francisco Coordinating Center, which is part of the California Pacific Medical Center Research Institute and also the University of California, San Francisco. I have a New England Journal of Medicine paper describing a large trial of denosumab, a new treatment for osteoporosis. Rank and rank ligand are part of a system that controls the fundamental cells, osteoclasts. Osteoclasts break down bone, and rank and rank ligand are molecules that essentially give the commands to osteoclasts to break down bones. Denosumab is an antibody, fully humanized antibody, to rank ligand. It binds to rank ligand and prevents rank ligand from activating osteoclasts, prevents osteoclasts from breaking down bone. The FREEDOM trial is the trial of denosumab. It involved 8,508 postmenopausal women with osteoporosis. The trial was a multinational, international trial. It, women were randomly assigned to either receive denosumab or placebo. Denosumab is given as a six-monthly subcutaneous injection, sort of like a flu shot. Women received either the denosumab injection or placebo injections for a total of three years. The endpoints of the trial were fracture outcomes. The first was vertebral fractures, and we saw a 68% reduction in the incidence of vertebral fractures. We also saw a 40% reduction in the risk of hip fractures. And we saw a 20% reduction in the incidence of all kinds, non-vertebral fractures, like fractures of the humerus or the ribs or your ankle. We specifically looked for an increase in the risk of infections or cancer, and we saw no increase overall in the risk of infections, no overall increase in cancers, no overall increase in cardiovascular disease. And there have been a number of concerns raised about bisphosphonates. Specifically, we saw no increase in the risk of ONJ. There were simply no cases of osteonecrosis of the jaw. There was no increase in the occurrence of atrial fibrillation. There was no increase in the occurrence of unusual fractures that have been reported to occur rarely with bisphosphonates. We also did not see any problems with fracture healing. Again, that's been a concern raised about the bisphosphonates. Overall, there was no increase in the occurrence of infections and no overall increase in the occurrence of cellulitis or infections of the skin. However, in about two out of a thousand patients, there was a hospitalization for cellulitis in the group receiving denosumab compared to placebo. Again, that's a very small number, uh, but it's something that doctors will need to be aware of in patients who develop cellulitis or are very prone to developing it. There was also a statistically significant, but again, uncommon increase in eczema. That's an allergic reaction in the skin, which is generally benign. Uh, there was about a 1% excess in the group that was receiving denosumab by comparison to placebo. There will be additional research going on about the uh, occurrence of incidence of serious adverse events of cellulitis. The rank and rank ligand system is found on immune cells, and rank and rank ligand play a role in native immunity, in, in particular cell-mediated immunity. But there are many other systems which determine the immune function in, a, in an individual. And so we've learned that uh, inhibiting rank ligand to slow bone loss appears to have no major impact on uh, other immune functions in the instance of cancer or in infectious diseases or uh, in the occurrence of cardiovascular disease. The most important problem in treatment of osteoporosis right now is that more than half of people who start taking pills for osteoporosis stop taking them within one year. 
Since denosumab is given every six months as a simple injection, it may help get around or overcome this problem of noncompliance. In addition, a simple flu shot every six months is likely to be attractive to many primary care doctors and to patients. And if something is attractive, it's more likely that patients will use it regularly and reliably. So I think that would be the principal advantage of denosumab. Of course, its efficacy, particularly its 68% reduction in vertebral fractures, is at least as good as any other treatment that's come on the market. Because of the simplicity of the injections, I think that this has use in general practice, in primary care, as well as in specialty offices. Patients who are being treated for prostate cancer and for breast cancer are often treated with drugs and or, in the case of prostate cancer, orchiectomy, that causes bone to be lost rapidly. Those patients who are undergoing treatment for prostate cancer have a very rapid rate of loss and a high risk of fractures. Similarly, women who are treated with aromatase inhibitors, a class of drugs that blocks the formation of estrogen, estradiol, also have very rapid bone loss and an increased risk of fractures. In the same New England Journal of Medicine, there is a report that denosumab in a randomized trial reduced bone loss but also reduced the risk of vertebral fractures in men who are being treated with anti-androgen therapy for uh, their prostate cancer.